Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. The headlines. World leaders are in Rome for the G20 summit, where climate change and COVID-19 are expected to dominate talks. The Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi opens the summit with a call for multilateral action as the only way to solve problems the world is facing. The more we go with, uh, with the, all our challenges, the more it is clear the multilateralism is the best answer to the problems we face today. But a row over post-Brexit fishing rights between Britain and France threatens to sour discussions. Boris Johnson insists he doesn't want it to distract from the G20 or the key climate change summit in Glasgow. We're going to get on uh, and do the things that matter to, to both of us and make sure that uh, we, we work together on tackling the, the big issues that face the world. Th there's, there's some turbulence in the, in the ratio. Lawyers for Prince Andrew claim the woman who's accused him of sexual assault is out for another payday as they ask a New York court to dismiss the case. Good afternoon. Welcome to the programme. Boris Johnson has admitted that there's turbulence in the UK's relationship with France over post-Brexit fishing rights. Speaking in Rome before the opening session of the G20 summit there, uh, Mr Johnson suggested France was already in breach of the Brexit trade deal. President Emmanuel Macron, who's also at the meeting, has said the row is a test of Britain's credibility on the international stage. Mr Johnson told the BBC the dispute was dwarfed by the issue of climate change. Our diplomatic correspondent, James Landell, reports. 